Divers sometimes surface from a dive and don't always feel their best. Even if you follow your dive computer or tables to the letter, it's possible to have problems even after a normal ascent. Of course, if you have violated your tables or computer, or failed to use them properly, your chances of suffering from decompression sickness greatly increase. You and your dive buddy can perform a quick examination that will assist you in determining general abnormalities you may be suffering from. This simple examination can provide important baseline information for the medical personnel who will be handling your transport and treatment. The exam can be performed almost anywhere, whether you're on a dive boat or at home after the dive. As soon as you realize there may be a problem with your buddy, such as changes in behavior or complaints of symptoms, contact your appropriate local EMS right away so that plans for transportation needs can be started as soon as possible. Place the diver on oxygen. There will be times during the exam when you will take them off oxygen, but you want them to breathe as much oxygen as possible as soon as possible. The rapid neurological exam starts by checking their level of awareness. Ask the diver who they are, where they are, what time it is. You can see if they have any recollection about the dive by asking them about it, especially if you were their buddy. Check the eyes. The diver should be able to see you, and they should be able to track the movement of your finger without moving their head. You should be able to tell if their vision is normal. Check the diver's hearing. Have them close their eyes and then rub your fingers next to their ear. Check the diver's sense of smell. Have them close their eyes and place any odiferous item under their nose and ask them to identify it. Look at the diver's face. Have them smile and make sure their face responds equally on both sides. When they stick their tongue out, it should protrude straight out of their mouth. When they swallow, watch for the movement of their Adam's apple. Check feeling on the face. Have them close their eyes and then gently run your finger across their face. Does the diver have normal and equal sensations? Check to see if the diver can shrug their shoulders equally. Be sure that the diver has good grip strength in both of their hands. Grip strength should be nearly equal in both hands. You'll also need to check the diver's ability to lift objects and to exert downward pressure. For most people, their predominant arm will be a bit stronger, so you'll need to check to see if they are right or left-handed. Be sure to also evaluate their ability to exert downward pressure with their arms. Test the diver's leg strength. Have them lift and bend their legs. Test their ability to bring their legs together and spread them apart. They should be able to flex and extend their feet as well. As an addition to this test, you can also have them squat down and stand up. They should be able to do this easily. At some point, you'll need to have the divers stripped down to their bathing suit or underwear to check their skin sensations. It is important to evaluate the nerves that lie just below the skin for proper feeling. Test to see whether the diver can feel light touch and also discriminate between sharp and dull objects when they are applied to the diver's arms, legs, and torso. Test both sides of their body. 
Make sure that the diver knows what the sharp and dull feels like before proceeding and that you do not break the skin with the sharp test. Note any findings that are not normal. If you found anything that you feel is not normal, make sure you ask the diver if it is normal for them. Although it takes a qualified physician to make a diagnosis of a decompression-related problem, your initial exam can play a critical role in getting proper treatment for an injured diver.